Oh, do I love me some bougie makeup, but it's even better when you can get it at the drugstore and it doesn't cost you your whole paycheck. Friends, today I am bringing you a very, very fun video. This is about the makeup at the drugstore that I feel like is super bougie, which to me means that it's expensive, that it's really good, that it's something that I might not ever be able to get. But I feel like these things that I have picked out for you today are very amazing from the drugstore. And not only are they high performers as far as the makeup goes, but they might have a little bit of spiffy packaging too. So let's get into seeing what I picked out for bougie makeup at the drugstore in my monthly favorites I put two primers that I have really fallen in love with So let's start with the one from flower. This one is so much fun This is like a mousse or I better read it. So it says supernova celestial priming whip we're not a mousse, we're a whip. I love the little glow that this gives. It gives such a pretty brightening effect to the skin. And I think that's the purple in it, but it also has this gorgeous little shift of just a, just a pretty sheen to it without having too much of a sheen, but you still get a beautiful look underneath your makeup. I also can feel the dimethicone in it, so it's gonna have a little bit of pore filling in there, and I can feel the hydration in it, and I love that about it. So I've really been enjoying that one. Do I feel like it's bougie? I do, because when you use it, you feel like, ooh, this is something different than I've ever used at the drugstore. So it is kind of innovative, even for luxury and high end. And then the NYX Marshmallow Primer, I really, really have fallen in love with this. I use this almost every single time I do my makeup now. And the reason is, is because it definitely has this pore filling property to it and it blurs your complexion and it really fills in, you know, any pores or fine lines or whatever that you have that you might texture that you might have that you've been dealing with. But again, this feels so hydrating. It feels very pillowy and it just has this effect underneath my foundation that makes my foundation look gorgeous. And I really like both of those. So here is the Flower Beauty over here and here's the NYX over here. And I feel like both of them are just a really beautiful formula. And these have hit the market, I think last year both of these hit the market, but they're really pretty. I do wanna tell you that the NYX one does have that really strong vanilla-y fragrance to it, marshmallow-y fragrance to it. So make sure that if you're somebody that is really sensitive to that and you can't have those, that you know that about that one. The next one that I wanna talk about are brushes. These are the e.l.f. Pro Precise brushes. These two brushes dupe two high-end brushes, and I have a video on that, which I will try to remember to link down below for you, that dupes out really good brushes. And these were in there, and the reason is is because they are so luxurious for brushes. I can't say enough about how nice these two brushes are. Soft, super, super soft. They are synthetic, so they're cruelty-free, which is very nice. And then this one is so awesome for foundation. I love this one to stipple on my foundation and buff in my foundation. It lays foundation down gorgeous. It is just a beautiful brush. And then this one for powder, you can tell that I've been using it for powder a lot. The reason that I like this so much is because it's super soft and it's pretty fluffy. So even though it will pick up some powder, it doesn't like pick up so much powder that when you put it on, you feel like you've got way too much powder on. It's just really light and airy. And I just think it's so nice. And both of these, I believe these are around 10 and 12. So really bougie brushes at a drugstore price. And I think that's so good. This foundation is the foundation I have on today. And I am so impressed with this. This is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. This is so pretty on my dry, mature skin. It is light. It has kind of a very thin, liquidy texture, but it covers really well at the same time. There's no break apart during the day. It keeps me hydrated all the way through the day. And I just think this is a really innovative formula that they've come through at the drugstore because you know, so many companies are looking towards glowy, natural, dewy foundations instead of having that matte effect like they used to have so much. I would say that this 
if I'm going to say it, I'm going to say it. This one is so much to me like the Estee Lauder Hydro. I can't remember what that's called, but it's the Hydro Wear foundation that they came out with. I really love that foundation. I have it. I use it all the time. But this one to me is the pretty much the same one without the SPF in it. I just love it. It's so nice on my skin, covers everything I need it to. And again, it wears like a dream throughout the day. So I feel like that's very bougie as well. And oh, by the way, we have a glass bottle and a pump on there, which is always a bonus in my opinion, when you're looking at any sort of foundation. I had kind of a hard time when I started to look at blushes and different things like that, but I really love both of these blushes from flower beauty these are the flower bomb um, liquid blushes and this is the milani cheeks cheek kiss blushes and i think this one is in uh rose romance okay both of these aren't cream blushes they are liquid blushes and the flower bomb one is in a very pretty petal pink color and what I love about these is you can use them very, very sheer if you want to. They're really easy to work with. So they will sheer out. They don't look patchy. They just look like a gorgeous flush on your skin. And then when they're on and they've dried down, you've got them there all day. That's what I love about liquid and cream blushes anyway. The Milani Cheek Heat one is just a little bit more watery. This one has a little bit more pigment in it. I do think that if you got another color from Flower Beauty, it would definitely have more pigment in it. But this one is just gorgeous. I really love the way that this lays down on my skin. I love this color. It's a very neutral color, the rose one. And it just, again, it gives a soft flush that dries down without being flat. But and both of these I feel like are really bougie because I feel like this was something that they were doing before everybody was on the cream blush wagon. And I just, I love both of these formulas and they both have just been beautiful blushes for me and I reach for them all the time. I have two favorite bougie lines. The first one is Flower Beauty. I want to recommend to you the Light Illusion Powder. I think that this powder is the next level powder. It's super creamy. It's a powder that actually can be built up into a foundation. It's really, really creamy, really beautiful. The packaging on this, I mean, we're talking a lot like high-end packaging with the big mirror underneath there, and then you have the pad. And you know, everybody's kind of talking about the L'Oreal Infallible new powder foundation that they have. This is so much better. So if you're wanting to try that, just know that that is super powdery. This one is super creamy. And I think that this, they just blew it out of the park with this one. It is, I've said it before, I believe it's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Powder. I have that one, but I don't reach for that one because it's so expensive. I reach for this one. I also reach for this one because I feel like it's creamier. I love this one. I've said it over and over again that this is just a beautiful powder. I feel like this is a super high-end powder. I feel like this should be at the Tom Ford or the Dior counter and it's just gorgeous. Drew did an amazing job on this. So if you've been wanting a powder, especially if you're dry, but in summer you're normal and you get a little breakthrough through your T-zone, this is beautiful to set your makeup down. And it's got just a little bit of life that it gives your skin at the same time. And by the way, mine is in porcelain. I need a little bit darker color while I'm starting to self tan, but it's a good color for me on, you know, every day. I also want to tell you that if you've been wanting to try the Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lipsticks, these are gorgeous. This one is called Naked Blush. This is a gorgeous nude color, pink nude color if you're cool tone. It's also kind of a medium nude color. So I love this as well. It's just a beautiful formula. They seem to be a little bit more on the matte side, almost satin, but more on the matte side. So they're really good to stick around a long time. And beautiful packaging as well. I just think this is such pretty packaging, but you'll love these. There are so many colors. I should have grabbed my other one that's called Dahlia Desire because it's a really bright fuchsia color and it's just gorgeous and I love to wear it a lot. I've worn it in a couple videos and you guys really loved it. So I really like that a lot. And then there's two other lipstick formulas that I want to talk about. These are the Color Reshine from L'Oreal. She has two formulas out now, just the regular one, which is this one right here. This is a very balmy lipstick. This is gorgeous on anybody. I don't know how much lipstick I've got on here. Let me just pat the last one off, but these are beautiful lipsticks. 
and you get the color without getting the dryness of a matte and it's so pretty they're just they're really really pretty this color let me tell you grab the glasses melissa uh this color is sparkling rose and then this other color this one is mulberry and this is the plumping formula so it has that little bit of a cooling effect when you put it on and this one is kind of just a bright fun pink and it's kind of like a really bright blue pink this one is fun too I love these. They're so nice. I don't know why I'm putting so many on, but I'm a lips, lipstick person, so I love those. And I just really love these formulas. They're a little bit thinner of a formula, so you're not going to have them on for as long as you would maybe have the Petal Pout lipsticks on. Or if you're somebody that likes that really balmy texture, you're somebody that has I'm starting to feel the cooling effect from the plumping one. It feels really good. It's a lot like the Buxom um, lip glosses, just so you know that. And I just think that this is a beautiful formula that the colors are so wearable in. You wouldn't think that that bright blue pink would be something that uh, people would like to wear, but they seem to be very wearable colors once you get them on. So really like that and, and then this product actually was sent to me by makeup revolution this is the super dewy skin tint tinted moisturizer i am not somebody that really is into tinted moisturizers but i do like to wear them you know on my decollete or on my shoulders if i'm wearing a cold shoulder top and this one is really pretty it is very moisturizing and it feels really great on the skin so, and it hides this is a light color you can tell it's the fairest one but if you rub it in you're going to see that what you get is a very perfected look on your skin if you're wanting to wear a dress somewhere and you don't really particularly want to put pantyhose on to hide you know the imperfection in your legs this is pretty and it's so super hydrating i love that you might not want to wear like white shorts or anything with it or a white skirt because it's not transfer proof it does transfer a little bit but i think this is gorgeous and i think that if you're somebody that likes that glowy dewy look this is great for the moisture if you wanted to put a couple of drops of highlighter in it if you have some liquid highlighter that would be great too very moisturizing and i know that they were probably trying to dupe the fenty one that is the skin moisturizer because this is a pretty big tube and to me it looks almost like the fenty tube too so definitely a little bit bougie and then what would a bougie makeup video be without me mentioning my two very favorite eyeshadow formulas ever it is the juvia's place these are some bougie oh my goodness bougie eyeshadows if you guys want to talk about luxury gorgeous pigmented amazing eyeshadows you need to hop on over and try some juvia's place i am telling you they're some of the best eyeshadows i've ever come across i love their formula you cannot beat their metallics they're just so buttery and so pigmented and so gorgeous but the other thing is their mattes are super blendable and super easy to work with I love them. And then the other one that I love, and I talk about this a million times, but I brought out the little palettes today. This is the LA Girl. And this formula that they came out with in the 16 pan and then in these nine pans are amazing. And I am wearing this one today. This is my palette that I'm wearing today. And this color right down here, this silver color is what I have all over my lid. They're just gorgeous. I cannot say enough about what this formula is this is one of those formulas that if i just was going into a store it could easily be at a high-end counter because it's just spectacular it's just they're the most creamy formula i have ever found at the drugstore this is by far the number one formula i've ever found it's actually by far probably the number one formula that i've ever used i love it this one is called keep it playful and downplay is what that one's called and then this other one i have another purple one but you can only order it on the la girl website the other one right here is called playmates so they're all called keep it playful then they have different names and so pretty they're just incredibly pretty i am never disappointed when i use these any of them they're just so so nice and the packaging is really pretty on it too it's got you know not just the regular cardboard packaging but it's got the plastic packaging and i just think it looks high-end when you look at it it's so pretty and then for the last thing this one is questionable and i'll tell you why because this is sold at target so technically it is a drugstore but at the same time it's a little bit more expensive but i wanted to talk about it and that is these fun little blushes from winky lux 
They come in this little um, ball, this little gold and then the clear ball on top. And this is the blush that I have on today. And this is so pretty. Look at the rose in there, you guys. Now, I will say that this was a little bit more expensive. I think that this might have been around $20, something like that. But how fun is that? And I have, you know, gone over top of this a couple of times with my stipple brush and used it. I do have another one that I just keep for pretty out on my dresser. It's almost something that you don't even want to use because it's so pretty. But this is a really fun formula. It feels really creamy. It's a really beautiful blush that goes on really pretty. There it is right there. It's just one of those cream blushes that's really a special blush. And it it's definitely bougie. I mean... At $20, I can see how somebody would go, oh my gosh, that's way too expensive. Yes, but can you imagine if this was sold at the Tom Ford or Dior counter somewhere like Nordstrom's? You would be talking like $45, $50 at least for something like this. So I think that this is a really fun, bougie piece of makeup without killing your pocketbook type thing. So I love that one. That's it for today's video. I'm so glad that you stopped by to see my bougie makeup and to see what I liked so much from the drugstore that won't break the piggy bank. I hope that you did enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate you spending some of your time with me today. Please stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. I'll catch you all in my next video and I love you much. Bye friends.